back at this job where I had to change that compressor overnight. The compressor's still running good. They're happy with the freezer. When I left it, I left it with the covers off this rack because I was just reluctant to think that just cleaning the screen on that swamp cooler was enough. So I came back today to rebuild the swamp cooler. We're gonna put new pads on it, new water pump, possibly a new flow, and we'll see what else we need on it. Uh, very carefully, I left the panels over here and I put cinder blocks on them because they get really windy here. Like right now, it's blowing like crazy. So we're gonna get this uh, swamp cooler turned off and taken apart. The panels pulled off. These panels, God, they must weigh 35 pounds each. They're insanely plugged up with calcium. The, the media pad is just saturated with calcium. They're so heavy. It's just a little itty bitty swamp cooler, nothing fancy. But it really serves a major purpose because it cools off this rack. So we're gonna get to it, drain this guy out right now and start working on it. I went ahead and pulled the pump and the motor off. It was really easy, just a cradle mount for the motor and the pump's a couple screws. That way I could just blast the whole swamp cooler down, rinse the top, the insides, take the hose to the distribution hose, blast it up into it. That way I made sure everything's clear coming out the spray tubes. And uh, I'll just get my shop back real quick and vacuum up what won't come out of the bottom there. I'm gonna oil up these bearings really good. And I'm gonna see if I can source a three quarter horsepower motor. I thought it was a third horse, but it's not. So I'll see if I can find one out here. I got a new pump put in. Cord's nice and secured, and no way is it gonna hit the, the belt. I got a new temperature controller put in. Motor put in. Drained and cleaned the cooler. I need to change the float, and I'm gonna change these pads. Now these pads, they can be a pain in the ass to change. One thing I like to do is go around, I mean it's just something simple, and hit them. Breaks a lot of the calcium free. Makes it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go about getting these all replaced and those things are plugged solid, man. Surprised they actually came out as one piece on each of them. I'm gonna clean up these uh, covers and put the new pads in. Much better. For the newer guys, if you don't already know this, when you're putting these pads in, you have to make sure you tuck it under this bottom section right here. This There's like a lip where the water drains down into the pads. Gotta make sure you get the pad underneath that for it to work properly. Or else it'll just drip in front of the pads and drip out of the cooler. With water, adjusted the float. I like putting in the adjustable floats. They're a little bit better than the non-adjustables because you can set them where you want them. On the non-adjustables, you have to bend them to set them where you want them. Keep in mind too, these swamp coolers never come out perfect. There's still some debris in there. It's just a swamp cooler. So long as you got a screen on your pump, it should work good. New pads, I'm gonna put them on. So everything's all up and running now. All I have to do is put the, uh, the panels back on this rack. Um, the best TD I could get on the swamp cooler was about 15 degrees. Uh, I could get more if I slowed down the motor, but I kind of need the CFMs to move the air out of the rack. So we'll sacrifice a little bit of a TD for some airflow to get all that stuff out of that rack. But that's it, so I'm gonna put the panels back on and we're all finished up. I uh, amped the motor, um, run load is 10.8 and I'm running right at 10 amps, 10.1, something like that. And then when I turn the water pump on, I run about an extra amp, 11.2 or something like that. So, but it's running good. Everything else is cool. Everything's looking good inside the rack. And that's it. You can tell that everything's working like it should be because the damn doors are pressurized from all the air. The louvers are pushing out. There's uh, damp, warm air coming out, so we're absorbing heat. The next thing I need to do is talk them into getting new panels for this thing because these things just lost all their integrity and they're like a nightmare to put on. You have to put screws in all of them. They're barely hanging on. Same thing on this side. 
you can see they've lost so much integrity that they're flexing. The only thing holding them on is the screws around the top. But everything's good. You know, on these swamp coolers too, you really gotta make sure that these doors get in right because if they don't, this bottom lip right here won't sit down all the way and they'll leak everywhere. So this one's looking good. All of them are looking good.